Santa Claus pulled up, come get the loot You better be watching what you do Not that least you got to go and do You been good, haven't you? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kayla. If you're new, I film hygiene, fragrance, and lifestyle related videos. So if that's something you're into, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. So in today's video, as promised, I am going to be doing my full review on this Louis Vuitton fragrance called A Trap Reeve. And I definitely am going to go in depth with my thoughts and everything. And I'm also going to show you guys an unboxing when I first got it. Just to show you, you know, the feeling of when you unbox a fragrance. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and insert a clip of that so you guys can see how it comes when you go to the store to purchase this fragrance. So if you want to hear my thoughts as well as see what I have in store for Vlogmas Day 13, then just keep watching. So now that you've seen the unboxing of this beautiful fragrance, I do want to go ahead and just chit chat a little bit. So in my last vlogmas, you guys did see a good get ready with me video. So basically I did my makeup and I did a couple of questions that I found on the internet that just helped to get you guys to know a little bit more about me and things that I enjoy. So that was really fun. If you have not watched that video, go ahead and go check it out. That was Vlogmas Day 12, but I was getting ready for an interview. So thank you to everyone that told me good luck. Um, I did get the job the very next day. They definitely emailed me the next day and let me know. So I really appreciate everyone's well wishes because it worked out. So I am happy to say that, <laughs> but let's go ahead and hop into this fragrance. So let's talk about how this fragrance looks so as you can see in the video i showed you guys that i did actually get my initials engraved in the bottle um and then she did also paint it with gold because it does show up a little better yeah so as you can see it has my initials kw and then it is also painted gold so that it can show up a little bit more so that's what that looks like right there. So I just have it in like, cause it did come in like a little tube, but I'm sure you guys seen that in my unboxing video. But I just wanted to set it on top of here because I just like how it looks. It just looks really prestigious. So this actually is a, so this actually is a 3.4 fluid ounce. And I'm trying to remember if this is the same price, but it does retail for $280. So you can actually take this bottle and you can actually get it refilled. Um, and it is a little bit cheaper. I think it's about $100 cheaper to take it back to the store and get it refilled. Plus you still have your customized bottle so I really think that's very nice and you don't have to you know spend that money to buy a whole new bottle when you still have this good one so it's very eco-friendly because of course you're recycling and reusing but I really like that so of course um, on the top of here it does have the LV on top and then it is a magnet so it's a very like hefty girthy bottle it definitely has weight to it it is not cheap at all it is in a very thick glass and this is the small bag that it came in this is actually their their holiday packaging right now so it did come in this little small bag it says Louis Vuitton on the other side of it but I think it's really cute because it definitely um, has like the little Legos in the back so I thought that was really neat I really love when they do their festive holiday packaging 
packaging is always so so pretty and then they did give me a larger bag as you've seen in the unboxing video with a magazine that I'm going to keep and use that as decor so about the actual juice inside this has keynotes of cocoa peony accord lychee accord patchouli heart turkish rose absolute ginger and bergamot so it's, it's really funny because if you know me this does not sound like something i would really be going after because i am a gourmand girl i'm a gourmand lover i just love all things sweet but i do also have the other side of me that really enjoys a perfumey sexy deep scent and that is exactly what this gives me so in my opinion this is definitely a wintertime fragrance as well as a nighttime fragrance i would wear this at night throughout the year um honestly i would wear it in the daytime throughout the year this could be a year round but if i'd really had to pick an event i would pick um a season i would pick winter and i would also pick night because this is a very strong perfumey scent you do not need a lot of this at all um it is very concentrated it lasts for a very long time and it smells really good so I would say with this fragrance, I do get that patchouli. So this is definitely not blind buy safe, but I do get that patchouli. Um, patchouli is one of my favorite notes. I love a good patchouli, especially one that has sweetness. I love patchouli. So I first initially get that blast of patchouli and then it starts to sweeten up and settle down. You get a very nice subtle sweetness um it, it still projects very nicely but the patchouli is just not in your face anymore it's kind of in the background but with patchouli forward fragrances the patchouli seems to last from beginning middle to end so you get patchouli all throughout the fragrance but you also get that sweetness of the cocoa you get that sweetness of the lychee and then you get that kind of airiness from the bergamot so this really gives me a very sophisticated expensive rich type of scent this right here smells like you have the bag like you have that money so when you put this fragrance on it's very much a confidence booster honestly it just really makes you feel when you come into the room you know what you want out of life you you know that you want to own the room people will look at you and you just smell like you know exactly what types of things that you like like you really smell very put together and it actually it makes you want to dress more well put together when you put this fragrance on because this is just not every run of the mill type of fragrance this is my favorite one out of the line they do have some other ones that i just was not feeling because they do have like a one that's on a very very beautiful bottle it looks like a california dream and i think that may be what um part of the name is but this literally translates to dream catcher so that's really what they were going for because this is one of the perfumes of my dreams this is one of my wish list perfumes and i was so very happy to finally get it so with the lasting power first I have sprayed like my hoodie with this. I smelled it the next day just as if I just sprayed the perfume. So with this fragrance, it actually lasts much longer on clothes than it does on the skin. On the skin, it still smells really nice, but it catches to the fibers a lot better on your clothing. So I would definitely, um, you know, spray a little bit more on my clothing than I would my skin. Not to say that this completely turns into a skin scent, but on the clothing, it is definitely a beast mode fragrance. It definitely has that sillage, it projects, it has that lasting power. And this is an eight to 12 hour wear for me. Like honestly, this lasts all freaking day. And on my clothes, it lasts until the next day. I really just sat there and sniffed my hoodie because it just smells so good it smelled like I just applied the fragrance so to me this is most certainly worth the money and I will forever repurchase this scent the moment that I smelled this scent I knew that I wanted it and I do think that I'm a little biased because like I said I do enjoy a good patchouli I'm very surprised that the Turkish rose did not stand out more and turn me off from this because I am not a rose girl I'm not a rose lover but I feel like when it's well blended and I can't really smell it then I can definitely deal with it so in this fragrance I just get a heavy perfume sweet 
patchouli fragrance so some people may not even think that this is a sweet fragrance because of the patchouli but i can definitely detect that sweet perfume essence it is um i don't want to say mature as far as like something that you know has a negative connotation to it but it is for i would feel like an older crowd i'm not you know that young so <laughs> i am 32 so this definitely really speaks to me and this just smells like you know you going out if i were to go out to a bar i feel like i would definitely get um compliments on this i feel like if i was to go somewhere nice like a steakhouse you would still be able to smell me and i would still smell really nice coming out of there and it just has that that lasting power that can cut through those type of scents and that is what i really love about that especially since i have been you know holding on to my samples i did have a few different layering combinations that i was already using with this perfume so First and foremost, my favorite layering combination was with Sweet Whiskey. So Sweet Whiskey has that whiskey smell. It has that vanilla. It also has those berries or apple blossom, depending on which version you have. But to me, they both literally smell the same. But Sweet Whiskey in this fragrance, for some reason, like, this was a match made in heaven. I tried these two together and I really, for the longest time, I did not pair this perfume with anything else but Sweet Whiskey. And if I was around people, I would get compliments on that. It smelled, it's like Sweet Whiskey helped to sweeten this up some and it just smelled intoxicating. It was like the perfume match made in heaven like i really smell just very womanly just very present in the room and sweet whiskey and a trap reef is just amazing like of course i would also use the body spray i would also use um the lotion but i just have this little body cream here to show you an example and another great fragrance to pair with this that is very similar is the victoria's secret teas candy noir so with this one, I would not use two perfumes because that would be entirely too much, but I would use either the body cream or this lotion to pair with this and it will definitely give it that nice, sexy, um, deep berry type of scent. Just so perfect for this season, I promise it is amazing. So, because this one is one that pretty much is like in the family of like an into the night because it does have that patchouli, it has the cocoa in there, and then it does have like those fruits as well. Like not seeing it's the same thing, but it definitely is in that family so that is why i think you can go with teas candy noir like if you use the lotion or if you use the body spray and then you can also use into the night that is another great match that i did use as well that goes very nicely with this it whew, just chef's kiss it is just everything and that if you want a powerful powerful fragrance if you want a fragrance that is going to last you all night long no matter what i would definitely do a chop reef with into the night it is perfect and it's not too overpowering either even though they are both very powerful fragrances i feel like it's not overpowering especially if you do it right if you don't over spray because that is not a combo that you need to over spray and if you use teas candy noir i don't think you need to over spray that either because they both can definitely speak on their own but once again into the night and the Teas Candy Noir help to sweeten this up a bit even though this is a sweet perfume like a perfumey sweet but it's not a gourmand sweet it's not a candy sweet and those two are definitely sweeter than this but I love this one so much and then the combo that I'm actually wearing today I wanted to pull out my Pure Seduction Untamed because I have not worn this fragrance in a while and I wanted to you know like I said my combo video i wanted to show some love to some fragrances i have not worn in a while so i did go ahead and use my pure seduction untamed and this has ripened berry and violet leaves in it so this is another like deep berry sexy perfumey type of scent so i use the body mist as well as the lotion for my base for this perfume today so that was another one that just smelled really good like these are just very sexy combinations very deep 
cut through that cold weather, cut through that food, anything that you needed to cut through, it will definitely cut through for you. So if you wanna sweeten this up even further, I would suggest using the EOS Vanilla Cashmere Lotion because that literally goes with anything, especially anything that you want to sweeten up. I wore that with Into the Stars the other day and I did actually include that in a combo video like one of my combo videos like a couple of months ago and that just smells so good it really cuts some of the masculinity out of into the in the stars and it just makes it sweeter it's just so so nice i would highly suggest if you have not com tried that combo to try it out especially if you like into the stars I keep saying into the stars <laughs> if you like in the stars but you don't enjoy the fact that it is a little cologne -y, I would definitely add some vanilla to it and it will make it a little more pretty and a little less harsh so that is my review on this perfume I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos like this make sure you like comment and subscribe I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one bye guys